Hi there guys, I hope you're having a wonderful week. I wanted to chime in here and give you a quick demo of Text Expander, which is an application that I speak about a lot, but it's kind of great to see it visually to understand how it really functions and how it really works for you. So to give you an idea, Text Expander, let me bring it up here, um, is a great application for Mac users for sending emails and saving email templates. It's about $30 or something, you can find it online. Um, I'll include the link below here um, for you. And basically what it does is it saves your email templates and it assigns to them an abbreviation is what Text Expander calls it, which is kind of like your shortcut key. So that anytime you type the shortcut, as long as Text Expander is open, and I have mine set to open whenever I sign on to my computer, um, Whenever you type that abbreviation shortcut key, it pops up the text that you have saved as the email template with a few fields that you've set as variable fields, meaning they might be client specific. And then you type it in, you hit enter, and the entire email template pops up. So some of the email templates that I, actually all of the email templates that I have available through my coaching website come in text expander form. It's an easy file to import right into text expander for yourself. And um, all of these emails are included that have engagement um, templates, wedding templates, and a few miscellaneous ones for those random questions that were asked here and there. So I want to give you a little demo on how it works. So let me shut off my camera here and we'll get into it. Okay, so this is what Text Expander looks like whenever you open it. You can see here over on the left hand side, these are all of your templates that you have saved. You can batch them into um, groupings, like I have all of my signatures, um, random snippets, like I always type HTH for hope that helps, or TSM for thanks so much, that kind of stuff. Um, but the big hitters are really gonna be these email templates that you save whenever you're going to send them to your clients on a regular basis. So if I click here, I can see engage, I've given it the name engagement inquiry response. I number them so that they keep them in a little bit of a good order. Over here on the right hand side is all of the text that's going to be included whenever you do use this email template. These areas here that you see that have these number or percentage symbols next to them, those are all the variable fields. So that's what's gonna be text boxes that you can change whenever you're utilizing this email template. Down at the bottom, I've given it an abbreviation. So any type I, anytime I type ELEAD1, this pops up. So like I said, I have all of these available for emails and weddings on my coaching website if you're interested in them. But I'm gonna give you some examples of how wedding and engagement photographers can utilize these email templates to make responding to emails as quick and as easy as possible. So here is my Gmail account. Um, right now my inbox is empty, woo, except for a few emails that I put in there and sent to myself, for example sake. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to open this email. So let's say that I get an email from Leanne. It says, wedding 5813. And it says, hi Leanne, I was wondering if you're available for my wedding date, if you could send me more information. So sometimes we'll see that we end up typing the same information over and over again, especially to inquiries like this. Now using Text Expander, I have an email template to reply to wedding inquiries. That is this one here. I am, there's a couple of them that I have available too, depending on kind of your process that you use. But let's say that I'm the kind of photographer that likes to send pricing information right away. Get it out of the way, send it over to them, especially because she didn't provide me a whole lot of information anyway. So all I'm gonna do is I'm going to reply to Mandy and I'm gonna type W lead A. And that is going to, oh snap. There we go, woo, I think that I was doing something wrong before. Okay, so this pops up this text expander link. So you can see here that all of this text is exactly what I have in my text expander application. So I'm gonna type in her name. I'm gonna type in the link to my client portal and hit enter. Bam, all that information is now included in my email. And then I like to type Sigley, that is my email signature and hit tab and return in Gmail to respond to her. Done, L, label it, filed away. Okay, next one. 
this Thursday. Oh, snap. What does she have to say? Oh, I was checking the weather and was wondering what we'll do if it rains on the day of our scheduled engagement session. Hmm. That stinks. Well, here's what we'll do. We will. Really? Sorry. I'm the worst example giver ever. Okay. Hi, Mandy. If it rains for your session, those are our two options. Sig Lee, send. Well, and now we've responded to Mandy's email. See? Good to go. So let's say um, that we write up a blog post of some uh, engagement session images, and we want to notify our client that her blog post is up on the blog. So if we hit C and then type in her email address, and then blog contest. This is a really great one that I have saved in there. Um, for anybody who's looking to get more blog traffic, this is a great tool to utilize. So I'm going to type E-B-L-O-C-O-N-T-E-S-T. -E and it's going to pop up this link. I'm going to say, hey, Mandy, shoot you an engagement session. Uh, shoot you a link that your engagement pictures are on my blog. I'll, um, okay, so what I do with blog comment contests is that I tell them that um, to share the link with our friends and family for every content they get in the next two days, I'll give you dollar print credit in your online gallery, whatever you want to do. And then I send it. So to show you what that message looks like, I was able to type up all of this by including this text, this text, and this text. However, if I had these uh, text expander templates and I knew that for every time this was what the link to my blog was and this is the kind of um, incentive I'm giving, what I would do is I would just go to my text expander gallery and I would say, okay, for this blog comment contest, I'm going to remove this as a variable which is that blog link text box. And I'm just going to type in my blog link because they're my email templates. So I shouldn't have to type that in every time. I'm going to make it even more simple. I included this in here as variables because everybody is going to do something differently. So I want you to go in and fill in whatever applies to you. But if you don't, it's no big deal because it's still going to ask you for it anyway. So hopefully that gives you a really good idea of um, how to use Text Expander, kind of what it does, how it pops up those emails. Um, here's one that I really love. It is, um, how did you get started in wedding photography? And let's see, what is it? M Photog. Answers to specific questions. Enter. Off we go. Anybody out there get a whole lot of these? I kind of do, which I want to make sure to respond and answer their specific questions, but it takes a while to type this email all the time. So I like to send it out as quickly as possible. Um, so that gives you a good idea for what's available in Text Expander, kind of how it functions, how it saves all of your email templates and applies this little abbreviation to them so that they can pop up really quick and easily so you can reply to your emails as fast as possible while still providing some great information. So I really hope that helps, and let me say goodbye. <laughs> I really hope that helps, and um, like I said, if you're interested in wedding and engagement email templates, they are available on my coaching website. It's coaching.leannemarie.com. Um, they're all available there. It's all of the wedding and engagement email templates. There's over 40 of them, um, and they're available in Word doc form, PDF file, and a text expander form. So um, yeah, I hope that's a good little example for you, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.